Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and my lovelies. So for a year now, you guys have been asking me for the field guide. So I need to make sure that I actually give that to you, uh, Safari game. Sorry, it's been a long time coming. And even after a year of going back to this, man, I absolutely love it. Okay, so field guide. I won't do too much talking for this one, but we will go through every single one of these. So. So yeah, I'm not gonna do a lot of talking for this. You guys can just enjoy it and everything like that. If you have any questions at all about where any of these are, please leave a comment for me and I will try and describe in the comments. The only one that I ever had trouble finding was the Cory Bustard. So as long as you can find all the others, it's really, it's really not too bad to get them all. Usually it's just a matter of unlocking certain ones. Elans are actually tough to find in this game. They are very random. You sometimes have to reload a section many, many times before you find one. Just make sure you look for the tree. Whoa, look at the multiple legs on that one. That's so cool. Whoop. It's touchy. Oh, Oryx, you are tough to catch. That sunset shot has got to be one of the toughest ones in the game.
These guys are some of my favorite animals in the world. These guys are the toughest, bar none, animals to photograph in the game. Maybe close to the king cheetah, but these guys are just impossible. Night creatures need high exposure. Oh man, just, just ridiculously tough. One day I'll get a good picture of these guys in the game. Oh look, you can actually see the full cheetah this way. Not like our poor, poor excuse for them on top of the rock. This is definitely the best way to see the king cheetah. Too bad you can't uh, use a uh, no clipping and uh, see them the other way. Same with the uh, panthers, or the black leopards, I mean. These guys are so tough to spot. Oh well, at least that we have the uh, field guide to see what these guys actually look like with all the work that went into their models. Man, these baby warthogs were so tough to find. It took me two games, I think, to find them before they would actually show up. Another night creature that's impossibly hard to find in the game at a good shot. I don't think these guys ever moved much. They just usually slept on the rocks in uh, Lake Hero. Another impossibly tough one to find in the game, because they only come out at night.
the honey badger. Hold on there, baby.
The toughest bird for me to find. The Cory Bustard. But you should usually be able to find them eventually on Kawanja Plain. Look towards the huge Maasai tree and you should be able to find them. Or where the wa warthogs hang out. These guys are impossible to get a picture of, too. They're huge. I didn't realize how big they were standing next to a human. Another tough one to get a picture of. <laughs> I've never actually seen them run in the game. that's everyone so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I've gotten lots of feedback over the year for uh, I can't believe it's even been a year since I last played this and it's still just as breathtaking as before so that is the entire field guide which starts with the what does it start with the plain zebra and ends with the tsetse fly so if you guys have any questions about where any of them can be found just let me know in the comments and uh, I know that the PS3 emulator is out these days so I can't wait to see what this thing looks like uh, in 4k or at least some really nice textures and graphics so I'll have an update on that eventually whenever somebody decides to get that working all right guys I hope you enjoyed it talk to you again soon bye for now <laughs> <laughs>